If I hike up this mountain in under 30 minutes, then my dad will buy me a new hat. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Three, two, one, go! Coco Crater is an extremely difficult hike. Towering over 1,000 feet and 1,000 stairs. But the most difficult part of all is it takes the average person anywhere from 45 to 50 minutes. And so with all of this in mind, we started off. And as you can see, for about the first two minutes, I started off running. But quickly, that energy disappeared and I had to start walking. There are three main parts of this hike. First part being pretty flat and easy. Then there's a part with no ground below you. And this was super scary to run up. And then there's the very steep incline. That's the hardest part. Right after I hit the very steepest part, I was starting to get super tired and I had to take such gigantic steps to get up each one at this point i was flying up like i was actually gonna beat 30 minutes and i think this is because of me being a football player and working out and also having that mindset where i knew i wasn't gonna give up <sighs> almost there at this point my legs were ready to give out and i was just pulling one leg up after another and then finally this happened <sighs> Before I tell you my time, I'm going to show you all my friends and family making it up. First came Austin, and then my uncle, and then Castle, my little brother. Castle. Yes. Who was followed by my sister and my dad. And then Austin's little brother, Brock. Followed by my four-year-old baby sister, Kaya. She did it all by herself, and I'm so proud of her. Right here. And after taking some beautiful pictures, we headed back down. And now I can officially say that I went up Coco Crater in 12 and a half minutes. 12 and a half. And then what's super stunning is I made it down in five minutes. And if you want to see more challenges like this, go hit the sub button.